In this video, I'll show you how to write alternating current and voltage in complex form. The first question reads, convert the sinusoidal form current equation to complex form. The equation that we have is I is equal to 2.84 sine omega t plus 33 degrees and it's in amperes. What we have to do is convert this so that it looks like the following. And this is the complex form version of this equation. In our equation, our angle is 33, so that represents phi, our phase angle. And since it is written as phi subscript 2, I'll do the same thing, where I have 33 degrees. The next thing that you'll notice is that in order to write it in this format, the complex format, you need to also state your maximum current represented as I max. And the maximum current here is the amplitude of 2.84, so our I max is 2.84. All we have to do now is put this together in this fashion where we have 2.84 over the square root of 2 at an angle of 33 degrees. Let's find out what 2 decimal 8, 4 divided by the square root of 2 is equal to. That gives us approximately 2 decimal 0, 1. So we have 2 decimal 0, 1 at an angle of 33 degrees and this is in amps. In question two, we're asked to convert the complex form voltage equation to sinusoidal form. So what we have in this case, and if you take a look at this equation here, we need to convert this format so that it looks like this. This is our effective voltage. That's represented as V subscript EFF. And the effective voltage is equal to V max over the square root of two. That being said, I'm going to substitute 84 decimal 2 into here. So we have 84 decimal 2 times the square root of 2 gives us V max. And then we can use V max to substitute it into this template. Let's go ahead and do that. 84 decimal 2 times the square root of 2 gives us 119 decimal 1. So V max is 119 decimal 1. I'm going to substitute this now into V is equal to 119.1 sine of omega t and our angle is negative 49. So the phase angle for this equation will be negative 49 degrees. This right here has the units of volts and there you have it. Two examples on how to write alternating current and voltage in complex form and vice versa.